What do we have for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy at the foundation of the reading, Pisces. As I was leading up to this reading, one of the downloads that I received was the dust has settled and now you're beginning to see who's who. And there's something here, Pisces, that you have been steered away from. There's been an influence around you that has been trying to discourage you from going down your intended path, I feel. The Seven of Pentacles is an energy that is telling you that you're not going to have any success uh, if you take this opportunity, if you go that route in life, if you decide to be with this person, whatever it may be for you. This may have been somebody who was very close to you. This may have been somebody that you thought you could trust to give you the correct advice or to be there and support you. This could also definitely be something that you did to yourself, right? Uh, Self-sabotage. However, what I'm sensing inside the Pisces Collective is also a kind of awakening a uh, shift in perception that is all the result of this eclipse that just passed. You're starting to perceive things in a way that you haven't before. The veil has been parted by the divine, and you can actually see things for what they really are now. And as you can see here on this depiction of the Seven of Pentacles, there's this witchy kind of spirit back there. And I feel this could represent an individual that you had around you. It could represent you self-sabotaging. But whatever it is, it's a kind of energy. It's a kind of spirit that has been working through various ways to hold you back from something. You know, I quite often talk about how there'll be this resistance that shows up in our life. It's a kind of tentacle uh, that comes from the darkness and it can show up in people around us. It can show up in addictions. It can show up in our own negative behavioral patterns. It can show up by us self-sabotaging. But whatever it may be for you, Pisces, I feel that you're beginning to have a deeper understanding that something has been working over time to keep you from something. That is the overall sense that I'm getting from your energy. And this eclipse is what brought the exposure, what brought the illumination, what put a spotlight on this. And as we're approaching the second eclipse, which I feel is going to be you eradicating this energy from your life. See, I feel that right now you're in this state of realization like, oh my God, so-and-so has been purposely keeping me from this. Or, wow, I didn't even see that I've been self-sabotaging, right? Pulling the rug out from underneath myself in the 11th hour which a lot of us can do without even being consciously aware of this. And usually this is the result of some sort of trauma that you've picked up on your path, Pisces. Maybe somebody told you along the way that you weren't good enough, that you can never pull this off, but yet you tried to go after it. And then in the 11th hour, boom, you do something to sabotage yourself. I certainly used to do this. I did this for many years. I had so much self-doubt programmed into me when I was a child that as I got older, uh, I spent uh, many years, um, even a couple of decades, constantly self-sabotaging, going after things that I was told in my childhood that I could never, ever accomplish. And then it's like I would turn on myself. It took me a really long time to wake up to this. It wasn't until I went through my last spiritual awakening in 2018 that I began to have a deeper understanding of what this was. You know, trauma, depending on what it is, is like a festering wound. It goes unhealed until we're able to see that it's even there, which takes perspective, takes time. Uh, it takes falling flat on your face. And it takes you realizing that you are really your own worst enemy. But something's happened here for you, Pisces. I feel that you are starting to awaken to what it is that's been holding you back, whether it's outside of you, whether it's inside of you, take it as it fits. You just are beginning to understand now that not only is there no one that has the right to tell you that you can and cannot accomplish something in your life, but you're also starting to realize that you've never actually given yourself a fighting chance in regards to whatever it is I'm picking up here. 
What do we have the sacral, please? Six of Cups, Scorpio energy at the sacral. And you know, Pisces, before this card came out, I was thinking about how there's multiple different timelines, different possibilities that we can access at any given moment based off of how we're moving in the here and now. So we can very much manifest ourselves onto a timeline where we're failing at something just as much as we can manifest ourselves onto a timeline where we actually succeed at something. Think about that, right? But the way that you're able to access these higher timelines where you are actually succeeding at something and that does become a part of your reality is by way of perception and vibration, okay? To bring something into your waking life that you're trying to manifest, you need to become the vibrational match to it. You need to tell the universe by way of how you are moving that you are the correct counterpart for said manifestation, whether it's a person, whether it's a place, whether it's a thing, whether it's something you're trying to succeed at. It doesn't matter what it is. You need to become the vibrational match to it and then allow the universe to take care of the rest. You essentially just need to work overtime at proving to the universe that you are the best fit, the best person for this position, whatever it may be for you. And I don't just say this, Pisces. This is something that I had to learn. It's very real. Yes, it takes a tremendous amount of work. But in saying that, once you're on the other side, you actually see that even though it may take a tremendous amount of work, it's a lot less work than it is to stay on the lower timeline where you're constantly self-sabotaging or allowing negative influence to seep into your subconscious mind. Because usually the work you have to do to align with said timeline is something that you just have to do once, right? Whereas to remain on that lower timeline, it's like perpetual suffering. It's constant misery. And the Six of Cups is really giving me the energy of these timelines because Six of Cups can be an energy of past lives. And I just feel, Pisces, that whatever it is here that is being made available to you now by way of this shift in your perception and calibration and a kind of calibration to your vibration is something that you've had in one form or another on another timeline. And that's why you feel so called to it. For most of you out there, this is all a part of your purpose. It's your destiny. This is what you're supposed to be doing in your life. No matter how much you try to ignore it or take an alternate timeline, you just feel like something is screaming at you from within. You can't seem to shake it, but there's also this sense like it's so far away, which is interesting because it's literally calling you from within, which speaks about your environment, Pisces, the influence you have around you. You'd be surprised just how far away from yourself your environment can make you feel. There's this kind of disconnect. This is when people say to themselves that they look in the mirror and they don't recognize themselves anymore. Very dangerous space to be, not even recognizing or knowing who you are anymore and being so disillusioned by your environment that you can't even begin to put two and two together that it's the outside influence. However, this speaks on this shift in reality that you're having right now, Pisces. So post this first eclipse, here you are. It's almost like you're in shock a little bit, Pisces. Like, oh my God, I just didn't see it like this before. I feel that a lot of you are thinking really deeply about your life right now as well. And you're thinking about the mechanics of reality in a way that you never have before. And then as soon as we get over this second eclipse, it's as if there's this door that's opening up for you, energetically speaking. And you can feel this approaching right now. You feel like you're being prepared for something because you are, Pisces. What do we have with the solar plexus, please? Ah, perfect. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You feel like you're being prepared for something. And then what do we get? Hand of God coming down from the heavens, Pisces, Ace of Cups energy. So there is most definitely something coming towards you. And see right here on the Six of Cups, right? You're being handed this cup. 
Pisces, I have this message coming through right now. I'm trying to figure out how to articulate this, but I'm hearing the divine is reaching through the fabric of time onto a previous timeline, picking something up and handing it to you in this timeline, which goes along with everything I just said and both of these cards. You're being realigned with a mission that you didn't complete on a previous timeline. It's as if in this life cycle, you're to complete this mission or move it further along. You know, and a part of my personal belief is that we have these uh, past lives and, uh, you know, obviously this is going to speak of reincarnation, but I feel like there's a connection between our mission in this life cycle and our mission in the previous life cycle. It's as if in the here and now, we move something further along, which can really speak about life being a kind of eternal light that is within each one of us that never goes out. The only thing that changes is the material, the three-dimensional density. And this is quite a, a deep energy that I'm getting here for you, Pisces. I could really get lost inside of this, but what I'm get in here, Pisces, is that I feel that a lot of this is going to uh, become a part of your thought process as you start heading towards whatever this is now with this heightened sense of confidence, I feel, for a lot of you, and uh, passion, and the knowing that you've been held back from this, or enough of it just to uh, get marching forward. It's as if files from your Akashic records are released to you you start to think about what I'm saying in regards to the fabric of time and past lives. You feel connected to something here in a way that you didn't see before. And seemingly, something has been working overtime to keep you from this. What do we have at the heart, please? Two of Wands. Wow. Aries energy. And look, there you are, right? It's like you're having this aerial perspective over your life and reality. You're just thinking about things in a much deeper way. See how there's this trickster back there? They're just sitting there like, ah, Philly. I couldn't stop Pisces anymore. They see the truth now. And that trickster is right behind you, right? Like they're looking over your shoulder. A lot of you have somebody in your environment that you need to distance yourself from. I just feel this heavy influence around you. For a lot of you, it's a family member, a toxic friend. It could even be a, um, a really toxic romantic relationship you're in. There's somebody around you guys that is being used as a vessel for some sort of dark force to keep you from something, Pisces. It's like they want to keep you dreaming, just always talking about what you could have done who you could have been. Oh God, that's a terrifying space to be. I've certainly been there before as well, Pisces. So I definitely know how that one goes. But what's so interesting about that is once you get on the other side of that energy, you start to look back and it's almost like you're casting a spell on yourself, right? Trying to program your mind that that's not for you. And all of this is by way of how your environment is influencing you. It's like you just start to take on these words that other people are saying to you, and then you repeat them back to yourself. It's like you're becoming your own worst enemy. I mentioned in one of the readings I did recently, I can't remember which one it was right now, um, how we hold on to things that people have said to us, very negative things. And sometimes these things will unearth themselves right as we're trying to accomplish something in our life and it will start rattling around in our mind. And we don't realize that when we're allowing those things to repeat in our mind, you know, let's just say uh, something nasty that somebody said to you, it's like you're casting a spell on yourself. You're repeating those words over and over in your own mind and you're keeping yourself stuck. And that was the first time I'd actually channeled that through in that way before, but it made perfect sense. This is why it's so important to uh, take a time out for yourself and really do maintenance on your mind, Pisces, right? Which uh, the easiest way to do this is through meditation. You want to take out uh, the trash, so to speak, that accumulates inside our mind, our thought process. We pick up so much on the day to day and we just don't really have a complete and full awareness of how this may be 
reprogramming how we perceive ourself and our own reality, which can cause us to manifest ourself onto an alternate lower vibrational timeline. So I feel the importance of meditation and prayer is being highlighted here because these are uh, two of the best ways to resolve this and uh, essentially just recalibrate yourself, right? Just come back home for those brief moments, which that's how I perceive meditation and prayer anyway. You're reconnecting with source energy, which is home. That's where we all came from. Where we are down here inside this reality, this is not our home. This is just all temporary. We're here because we need to complete a mission. But a lot of what I'm saying to you here is going to become a part of your everyday thought process. There's just this different sort of perception that you're going to begin to have on reality uh, post this second eclipse, like I mentioned, which is also going to clear the path before you so you can start heading in this direction that you're being called to go in. And I feel that right now um, you're in this energy of preparation. It's like you're having these visions. Uh, these are all downloads you're receiving. You're just really starting to feel more connected than you ever have before. And you're also starting to have a lot more confidence flood through because this is all a component in realizing that you are a part of the grand design of the universe and evolution and you are not here for nothing. You are here for a very specific reason. What do we have at the throat, please? Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy at the throat. Two aces already on this top row. So this further reiterates what I just said. Uh, there's this energy of mental clarity. You're starting to have these visions around the direction you need to start heading. Everything is starting to crystallize, and you're thinking clearly. It's as if the fog has dissipated, Pisces. Your faith is becoming much stronger, and you're starting to feel truly loved by the universe and embraced. I feel that you're coming from a time in your life where a lot of you felt unseen, that you were insignificant, that there was nothing meaningful about your life. Anybody who thinks that way has been disillusioned and programmed to do so by some sort of outside force because everybody is here for something. So all you Pisces out there who do feel that way right now, just know that that is all the result of something in your environment that's made you feel that way, okay? And for a lot of you as well, it's just a collection of things that have built up over time on your path. And then you just get to a point where you're so jaded and you're so bitter about life. You just feel so weighed down, right? And this is obviously by no means easy to overcome, especially if you're a little bit older, right? Because you have a lot more baggage that you have to deal with, but there is a way out. You just have to find it within yourself to want to do all that work. But if you simply pray on it, Pisces, and you ask the divine, you ask God for help, and you're truly willing to put forth the effort to change your circumstances, you will quickly start to feel embraced by the universe. Each one of you knows exactly what you need to do, okay? We all do. And a lot of the stuff we put off, we somehow convince ourselves that it wouldn't make a difference. But it does, Pisces. It really does. So if you truly want it, you can go get it, but you got to fight for it. And once you're on the other side, you can ease up, right? Everything just becomes much easier. What do we have at the third eye, please? The moon. Pisces, that is your energy at the third eye. This is really speaking about uh, what I was mentioning in regards to the subconscious resistance, which is all based on all the trauma that has collected within our psyche over time, right? Uh, it can also speak about things that are unseen. So for a lot of you, it is just that. It's all these things you've picked up, whether they're behavioral patterns, addictions, uh, people in your life. There's many things that fall under this sort of umbrella. And these are all the things that, for the most part, are right underneath your nose, okay? Um, but it's almost like you still can't see it. 
there's an energy of um, illusion here. It's an energy of you deceiving yourself, but you can't quite see it. And this is right at this third eye position as well. I'm picking up on blocked third eye chakra energy here. So uh, poor judgment and just lacking focus. Uh, but this is all the byproduct of what you are dealing with here. Again, behavioral pattern or someone, something in your environment, okay? But at the end of the day, Pisces, I'm getting a lot of ringing in my ears right now. Uh, I feel like that is emphasizing what I just said about your environment, okay? And see how the moon looks really sad? Like, oh man, I wish Pisces could see this, but they just can't seem to understand that it's right there. It's right underneath their nose, right? This soldier there. And I get a kind of darkness from this soldier as well. There's this um, band of crows. Band of crows. I don't know why I said it like that. Ah, oh, wow. It's like this energy here is this energy here, right? The spirit of whatever this thing is. And then right here, it's like, here you are, Pisces, quite possibly on the alternate timeline. And then here you are on this timeline, realigning with your mission, picking up where you left off. What do we have at the third eye, please? Ace of Wands. Three aces on the table. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Wow. It's the first time I've seen that many aces on the first row of any of my readings in a long time. But it's like you're taking the bull by the horns here, Pisces. There's some sort of inspiration that's going to start flooding through. It's like you can see, you can sense you can feel this new beginning. You can't quite put it into words yet. You can't quite grasp it yet, but you feel something coming towards you. It's like when you got an itch, but you don't know where the itch is coming from. Um, I don't even know why I use that example. Um, I've never used that example before, I don't think, but it makes sense, right? It's like having an itch on your arm, so you itch where you think it is, and you're like, no, that's not where it is, and you start moving your hand around. You can't find it. It's almost like the itch is moving, right? This is what I'm feeling here for you. You don't know what's coming towards you. You don't know where it's coming from or when it's coming, but you can feel that there's something coming. It's like an itch that you just can't seem to scratch, but you are going to target it very soon, Pisces. I feel this and there's going to be a huge sense of relief, right? It's like you finally scratch that itch and you're like, oh God, finally. There's a new beginning here. It's all over this reading, Pisces. Here you are being handed this cup, right? Again, right here. Gives you this perception, this aerial perspective over your life, reality in general, right? Which gives you this new heightened sense of clarity. You're starting to see what's what, what's been holding your back, right? With this moon here. You're like, oh, wow, I didn't see it before. Now I see it. It's being brought to the light which allows you to take the necessary action to charge forward on your path. What do we have at the foundation, please? Seven of Swords, Andromalius, Aquarius energy at the foundation. So we have two sevens stacked. Pisces, good news is coming, okay? So you just need to start preparing for some positive changes to start unfolding in your life. This Seven of Swords is also speaking about you breaking free uh, of some sort of mental restriction that I feel was influenced by what I've been picking up here, right? Environmental or just your own uh, thought process uh, based off of trauma that you've picked up along your path. All of this is going to start being illuminated to you so you can actually begin the healing process to overcome this energy. You know, I'm of the thinking that uh, trauma, right? And this is just based on my own experience and also working with others. We never fully heal in this single lifetime over this. We just start the healing process. We just find a sense of peace from within. But 
it becomes a part of you. It's a part of your path. It's a part of who you are, right? You just allow the trauma and the pain to empower you on your path. You use it as a kind of weapon as you move forward, which I feel a lot of the time has to do with how you serve the collective. Now, there's obviously many different ways that can show up here, Pisces, but whatever the case, there is an energy here of you beginning this healing, which allows you to get on your path. You don't need to heal completely to step into your purpose. That's not how this works. A lot of you are going to start having your purpose illuminated to you once you take the first step to healing. Little by little, a little more healing a little more is illuminated. And what's beautiful about this as well is as you get on this healing journey, the healing that you've done up until that point gifts you with something very special, and that is the power to heal others. Who better to heal others than a person who has began the healing on themselves because you know firsthand. And there's something I'm getting around your hands as well, Pisces, okay? Some of you might be energy healers. Some of you might not even know you're energy healers. Uh, but whatever the case, I feel like I'm picking up on people who work with their hands. What do we have at the sacral, please? And look who decided to show up to the party, Pisces. The devil. <sighs> Moloch. Gotta say, Pisces, I am not surprised at all because I've been feeling this energy throughout the course of this reading. Like I said, like a tentacle coming from the darkness, possessing individuals around you, trying to manipulate your mind with your environment so you self-sabotage. That is devil energy. Anything that keeps you off your path, anything that creates resistance in your life from your intended purpose is devil energy. Big or small, it all works in an incremental fashion to stop you from completing your mission. Because of the threatening nature and the magnitude of what you are meant to do in this life cycle, Pisces. And of course, if it has something to do with helping other people heal or just even healing yourself, that's a huge threat to the devil. Because the devil, make no mistake, does not want you being healed. Because usually, amongst all of that healing, what you'll find is an individual who has found a love from within that connects them directly to the divine source energy and God. A child of the universe awakens when they get on their own healing journey and are protected and guided by the divine. And that is not what the devil wants. What do we have? The solar plexus. Wow. Back to back, Moloch and Baphomet, right? Two different extensions of the underworld. The magnitude of your purpose, Pisces, is undeniable. There's a force in this universe that's been working overtime to keep you from this. Baphomet here, which is the magician in its negative polarity is an energy that's going to manipulate you to tell you that you don't have talents, that you're not cut out for this, that, and the other, that you're not that person you think you are, that what you're being called to do is not for you. It's somebody who wants to scatter your energy and make sure that you never align with your true north and step onto your path. Simply put, Pisces, it's somebody or something that's going to do whatever it can to make sure that you miss the opportunity, that you miss the boat. And all they have to do is distract you long enough to where you finally just give up. And I just heard the sands of time, right? So it's all about time, minutes. The devil just needs to take your minutes away from you because we only get so many. Oh, wow. The sands of time. And what do we get? Right there. The sand clock. Let's go ahead and start on this side. Three of Wands, Vool, impossible plans. No, Pisces, that's not for you. That's impossible. You can never, ever pull that off. You're dreaming. And then this energy will be working behind the scenes to create obstacles so you never actually find your way. You're just constantly 
distracted. Overall, it's just, it's just an energy that's creating delays in you achieving your goals, your true heart's desires, your mission sent by the devil. And see how they're going overtime here now because of how close you are getting. So, you know, leading up to this first eclipse, you may have felt a really big dip in your energy, Pisces, okay? And I quite often talk about how there's a lot of peaks and valleys in our energy. And right before we're getting ready to have a big breakthrough, we almost feel this really big lull, right? Before we hit a plateau, a peak. So you may have felt that. And it's this energy here. They know, it knows, whatever it is that you're about to have this breakthrough. And then here you are. Seven of Cups, a Sheila contemplation there's this clarity that's coming through for you now you're understanding that the devil is trying to take your life clock minutes away from you by wasting your time distracting you you're aging out whatever it is you're in this toxic relationship you're going down a path that you shouldn't be going down. Your thought process is constantly telling you that you're a failure and you're not seen by the universe. This represents all of it. It all wastes your time. And that, for the devil, is a win. One minute taken away from your mission is a huge win for the devil because you only get so many Pisces. Don't forget that. What do we have at the throat, please? Oh, six of cups again. So we have it twice. Scorpio energy. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Scorpio, Scorpio. See Aaliyah, God who steers all men. Motivation lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. This is speaking about what I said at the beginning of the reading. You're starting to see who's who. You recognize now that these individuals that told you that your expectations for yourself were unrealistic were just trying to keep you living in the past. They want to keep you stuck and spinning in the same karmic cycle year after year after year until... You run out of time, Pisces. It's all been illuminated to you. They can't hide from you anymore. The only way they can get away with this any longer, Pisces, is if you allow it. Because even though what's being exposed to you is hard to accept, from this point forward, you would be your own worst enemy if you allowed this to continue any further. What do we have at the third eye, please? Oh, wow. Powerful. The chariot, cancer energy. Michael, who is like God, perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity, and here you are trampling over this beast in your life, right, which is just representing all this devil energy, whatever it is for you. And it's right there at the third eye. So you're charging forward. There's an energy of victory here. We have a couple of cards of victory here, two of the main ones, Ace of Swords and Chariot, right there at the throat in your communication, and right here at the third eye, having to do with your perception, right here you are, overcoming this energy that was right underneath your nose, that you didn't think mattered, whatever it is. All right, what do we have for the crown to close out for Pisces, please? What do we got? Ah, perfect. Nine of Swords, Hariel, Gemini Energy. The comforting God, purification, protection from the impious religious sentiments. So this nine of swords now is representing you facing all of your fears. It's an energy of perspective. It's a very forward focused kind of energy. And you're recovering now from this kind of mind war, right? Which is just the umbrella that I feel all of this falls under because at the end of the day, it's all working in tandem to rewire your thinking so you don't charge forward. And see how the divine is swatting this 
you know, this blindfolded demon cherub off of your back here, right? So here you are protected now. You waking up and self-empowering, Pisces, is what allows the divine to protect you. You have to meet them halfway and then they'll take care of the rest. Because until you self-empower, you're essentially telling the universe that you're good where you are, that you don't need any help, okay? Which goes back to what I said about the prayer and meditation and making sure that you're asking for help. It works, Pisces, I promise you, okay? And I challenge you to try it and give it some time. And remember what I said about leaving no stone unturned. So go get it because it's waiting for you and it is yours. Pisces, this is the energy I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Pisces. Take care.